Hey everyone, it's Andy here from Saving to Invest and just wanted to give a quick update today on follow-up to my previous video around the IRS refund processing schedule. This is more about diving a bit more into the IRS refund statuses and especially disappearing bars on your Where's My Refund app or IRS to go uh, mobile app. So just getting a bit more into that, talking about the refund statuses, I'll talk about some of the frequently asked questions I've also received on my previous video on IRS refund schedule. So hopefully the information here is useful to you. And if you like it, please hit the like button below. And to keep getting more notifications like this, hit the subscribe button. So you can check the status of your refund um, on the WMR, Where Is My Refund website, or the IRS to go app on your mobile phone. So there's essentially three refund statuses that really drive how the IRS re uh, reports the information to you. One is return received refund approved or refund sent. And I'll talk to you about what this means and some estimated timing for these statuses. Again, this is estimates based on information I've seen. I've been done this over the last several years. It does change. Every tax return is different. So don't take this as a, you know, your specific situation, but it does provide a general guideline. The IRS does commit that nine out of 10 refunds will be processed in 21 days, but they can vary, you know, depending on the issues you have with your refund. So, after filing a return with your online provider, whether it's TurboTax, HR and Block, TaxLayer, or whoever else, or even if you file it through paper, you will get to the first status of return received. So once the IRS has electronically transmitted this or you submitted it by mail, they'll essentially accept your, um, they've accepted your refund, which means they've done some basic checks, like checking that you have the right social security number, there haven't been any fraud flags, and it's just basic validation. Then the status becomes return received. This can take anywhere from one to four days. If you file it electronically with the bigger providers, it generally even happens within 24 hours. It's pretty quick. The um, tool actually takes 24 hours to update, so you can't actually see your status until the next day. So that's why I'm saying one to four days. But a lot of people who have a pretty straightforward tax return that have filed with some of the bigger providers, I'm seeing it within 24 to 48 hours. Some people, if there's a security, social security number or a fraud check, there may be a few more delays. Um, you'll get a notification and from the IRS in the tool, and you should also be seeing that in your um, online tax provider. And you'll also get a mail in the letter from the IRS. Don't believe scams and be very careful of fraud, because this is one reason why uh, returns are delayed. If you've had fraud in the past, you can get held up again this year. So this is the first status that comes through. Um, a lot of this processing is done automatically, especially if you file electronically. It goes to the IRS. They have their systems that check, and obviously if there's flags, they'll they'll flag it for manual processing. But this happens pretty quickly. And a lot of people can be in this status, um, you know, relatively in short order. And you will get an email notification uh, once your return is accepted uh, and the status goes to return received. Uh, and you should then have sort of the clock will start ticking essentially for that 21 day period that the IRS says they'll process most refunds. The next status you'll get after return received, which is the biggest one, is refund approved. So you'll see it goes from re return received to refund approved. So this is now truly within the IRS internal processing. So these are estimates. They don't generally publish this uh, other than their, their statement of 9 out of 10 refunds are published in 21 days. So the, this status really means that the IRS has approved your refund and are preparing to send the money to your bank check. So this is a really good sign. So WMR will, you know, also if you have issues, you know, the Where's My Refund tool will not go to the status. It will flag issues you're having. So the, the app mobile or the IRS to go, which is your mobile app or WMR, which is a website, will flag the return will probably still say in return received um, and sometimes this is where the the, the status bars go blank um, when it gets stuck between return received and refund approved that's generally when the status bars are blank it means that something is happening the irs is doing some processing and that's what the status gets lost right but once it's approved generally within this whole stage is normally two to 12 days if it's very quick everything is simple it'll just get done within a couple of days and then you'll get a refund date provided for you that your refund is approved. So once it changes to refund approved, that's a very good sign. So it means the IRS is getting ready to send you your refund payment if, you, if, you're, if you're eligible for one. Or if you owe taxes, you have to, obviously, um, you'd have had to mail it in. So the last one is refund sent. So this means that the IRS has approved your refund and they've sent it now to your um, bank or financial institution or wire check. It could take, obviously, longer. But... It normally will happen within five business days. Again, it's up to five business days. Most cases, it happens much quicker, especially if you're using some of the larger banks, but they have to factor in it going out, potentially some bank holidays, and then 
the weekend, it'll only work on business day. So they say within five days, but most people uh, who have a pretty straightforward return can get the whole process happen probably within two to four days. And, and that's not actually a very surprising time frame if your return is pretty straightforward and it's not flagged for any manual processing. If you do it by mail, and the IRS always recommends a direct deposit, it could take four to six weeks for your check to get to you. So that does take a bit longer. And I think you just need to be, you know, where possible, use direct deposit, um, especially now with the stimulus payments going out. This direct deposit information is also used for your stimulus payment. So I would definitely recommend you use that if possible. So these are all the statuses. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the timings there again are estimates. I'm not a tax professional. I don't work for the IRS, so I don't know the specifics. But if your return is pretty straightforward, you should just take a few days. It can take up to um, 21 days the IRS's service level agreement for 90% of refunds. Now, there are some people who are, you know, I know the 10% is, um, you know, feels like, oh, that's not much, but 10% of potentially 150 tax, 50 million tax returns the IRS processes, that's still 15 to 20 million people that are going to face delay. So it's 90% sounds big, but 10% or 15% is still 15 million people. So it could definitely um, affect a lot of people. But the IRS is pretty good at paying it out in 21 days if it's pretty simple. And just to understand, a lot of these checks are done automatically through systems. And it's only flagged for manual processing if something comes up or there's a fraud. And there's a whole article on the IRS if you want to read about their internal processing. Their auditor has to publish annual reports. Um, and all these statuses are only valid for the, the, the current tax year. So you know, hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of um, how this all works. And I'll post a link here where I do talk a lot more detail about the statuses. Um, there's about... a. 800, 900 comments happen, people who have stuck in it. So you have a look at the article. The link is up here, and you should also see it in the description down below. I just wanted to then talk about a couple of um, frequently asked questions around the refund processing. This, again, um, I answered some of these in my earlier video comments, so I thought I'd put it in this video here. But how long will it take for my status to change from return received to refund approved? So like I said before, It'll only be a few days. Most people will only be a few days. But if IRS does find discrepancies or missing information, which is the biggest issue with returns, it, it could take several days. And there's no time limit. It will just have to go for manual processing. And with everything in all, I, it could take sometime weeks. I know in, in extreme cases, some people are still waiting for their 2019 returns that were filed in 2020. So it's a whole long process. Um, but you will get notified by the WMR tool. You will also get a letter in the mail. So please don't, you know, believe any scam emails or things that says, hey, your your um, your refund has an issue. So, and, you know, there's no need to check every single day. This is only updated nightly. Um, the other big frequently asked question, which sort of prompted this one is, why have um, my, and sorry for the typo, why have my WMR bars disappeared, which is my Where's My Refund the app or ris to go gov It's the same status. You can look in either place. Uh, why have they disappeared or why isn't uh, where's my refund displaying my refund status showing the different stages of return received return re refund approved and refund sent um, so like I explained earlier sometimes when the IRS is reviewing a status when it goes from between return received to refund approved those are the two main statuses it can require manual processing because it was probably flagged by the system to say either there was a fraud check or there's some information that didn't add up with what they received from your employer or other financial institutions through your W-2s so it sort of gets into this funky mode where it'll it should display the um, error message that why it's delaying delayed. Um, but I have heard in many cases it just disappears. And so I wouldn't stress about this. You know, if it's a few days, I know it's very frustrating, but it should come back on as soon as the IRS has done this processing. Because a lot of times you may get an error that has not got an automated message, so the IRS can't display something. But the bars will come back and they will return after processing. And hopefully if everything goes okay, your status will change to refund approved. Now, you may be asked to provide more information by the IRS. Again, do it through the irs.gov site. Don't send it on email, or an IRS should not be asking for information through email because that will probably be a sign of fraud. But follow the instructions you get. And you should also get a letter as well in the mail. Um, and also, you'll, you likely will have to wait for 21 days if you haven't heard anything. The IRS is very clear. Like, until you've passed 21 days, which is their agreement period, don't contact them because they'll be like, well, just wait for 21 days, which I know is frustrating, but um, I've been through this before and you know with my account and there's not much you can get for contacting them in 21 days um and this is the last one you know people obviously are very keen to get the refund and a lot of people need this money um they keep checking the wmr and the irs to gov tool uh irs to go gov uh, tool every every few minutes but it only updates overnight um and once per day so there's no point going in and checking it trying to see if it updates it's not going to change 
Um, there's no need to check more often. This is all, all this information is from the IRS site. Uh, you can go check it there. You have to wait for 24 hours. And they've said, you know, wait for 24 hours after you file. You should see the status. And obviously with a paper return, it takes um, four weeks, up to four weeks before you'll see the status up there. Um, again, pushes to do electronic returns where you can. So these are some of the common questions I got um, around the refund status. And I'll post, uh, I'll post the article which has more on this. And please leave a comment or question below if you have any more uh, that I've not covered here. Um, the other big uh, comment I get is, why is my refund lower than expected when I filed? So you file a return with um, TurboTax, h and Block, um, TaxSlayer, whichever provider, they'll give you an estimated refund when you do that, so you should have an idea of what your refund is. But a lot of times, you know, it'll be lower. And the main reason, uh, I'll give you the short answer, then I'll go into the long answer, is refund offset. So this is um, the main reason that people um, don't get what they think that their um, tax tax package or that accountant says they'll get is because of a refund offset, which is based on you know previous years. Um, I'll post a whole article on what a refund offset is and what it works. But the long answer is, you know, and this is coming directly from the IRS side. So all or part of your refund, including any amount um, for the recovery rebate, which is the legal word for stimulus check, um, may have been used to offset. That's why the term refund offset comes out. Any to pay off past due federal tax, state income tax, state unemployment compensation debts, child support, spousal support, and other non-federal um, debts, such as student loans. So a lot of items could deduct this, and you know your tax package may pick this up. Sometimes, a lot of times, it doesn't because it does. It could be over several years, and so the IRS has all this information. But even like your stimulus check, a lot of people got a stimulus check uh, or didn't get their full payment. Last year, they actually were not deducting some of this stuff. They just, you know, went on ahead. But this year, your stimulus check, if you claimed your stimulus check or you were overpaid, it actually may ask, it may lower your refund because they're doing this offset against you potentially other refunds. And that's really important to understand. The offset is a legal mechanism the IRS can do to reduce your um, refund. And this is this is completely legal. Um, if you want to find out more about your offset, you can't really call the IRS. They just get this information from other agencies. You need to contact the agency, you know, your child child services agency or DFS to find out who owes the debt, right? So this process is what is the main reason um, why your refund is probably lower than expected. And sometimes it can actually take away your entire refund. Again, I'll post a link in the description below about refund offsets, but um, you can also go to the irs.gov site to see this. But this is the number one reason for the lower um, offset. Um, and the other part is the IRS may also change your refund because they made changes to your tax return. So you file your tax return with the IRS. It doesn't mean that's the file return. That's your, your um, through your package, your reporting of your tax information, right? So it should match up because most of it's provided by your employers or your investment returns or other things there. But the IRS is fully in it, is fully in its right to go and change it because they've got information that contradicts what you're saying. So the biggest thing this year will probably be incorrect recovery rebate amounts or stimulus checks. So either you you didn't get paid as much, you, that could increase your refund if they, if they find out that they didn't pay you for your dependence or you got paid too much and your income was high in 2020 that you don't qualify. So you will get a notice explaining the changes and the, uh, then the, the Where's My Refund tool will reflect the reasons for the refund offset or this reason. So you, sh you will see this reason when the return is processed and sent. You'll see this was a reason why. And you can you can appeal this. Of course, the IRS has, IRS has an appeal process for this. Uh, but this can actually, those, these two items, the refund offset, uh, may actually change your um, tax return as well. So just, just be aware of that uh, as you file tax returns.